Amazon Code Whisperer uh, is an AI coding companion that generates whole line full function code suggestions uh, to your IDE to help you get more uh, get more and faster. So GitHub Copilot is a cloud based artificial intelligence tool as well that is developed by GitHub and OpenAI. Like they both assisted in that uh, to assist users of Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio, Neowin, JetBrains, uh, integrated development environments by auto completing code. Uh, so it is basically an AI assisted software development tool from GitHub. Which is basically um, owned by Microsoft as well. GitHub Copilot actually it works by you know analyzing the code uh, that develops uh, developers have written, including comments that describe how code should work. Yeah. First of all, we have some uh, you know uh, basic differences. So obviously, GitHub Copilot has been developed by GitHub and OpenAI that I told you earlier, and Amazon Code Whisperer is developed by Amazon, right? GitHub Copilot was first released in June 2021, and Amazon Word Whisperer was released right after one year in June 2022. All right, so the next point if you talk about is really, really important, you guys. So obviously, uh, if you wanna select between two, the, so the price is the key factor that come between the both, right? All right, so you guys know, like everybody appreciate, you know, some kind of a free platform that gives you all features or, you know, uh, they're like literally free. So obviously in that case, as you can say, like Amazon Code Whisperer is, has a big advantage over GitHub Copilot because as in my testing as well, it was absolutely free. There was no uh, charges in demand for me while installing it like integrating into my IDE so that is actually very good of Amazon Codeuser that is like giving all the facilities for like literally free and on the other hand GitHub Copilot is charging like 10 US dollars per month right now and if you want to purchase the yearly plan so it will cost you hundred dollars annually so yeah in this difference uh, as I told you earlier Amazon Code Whisper has a big advantage over GitHub Copilot so now the last two uh, differences that we have are really really important as well okay so if you are a coder or a programmer who is using one of these languages or IDEs given below. So obviously for that, you need to select a suitable platform, a suitable uh, tool in order to get your work done more efficiently, right? So if you are a person who is very much conscious about his work, who do not want to mess his work like at any cost. So in that case, GitHub Copilot has a very big edge over Amazon Code Whisper because as you guys can see from the given chart right here, no matter if you are in any language or any IDE, there are most of the chances that it will be supported by the GitHub Copilot. So that is actually very convenient. So you can select GitHub Copilot like within almost M in every language and every IDE. In Python, obviously, that is supported by both Amazon Code Whisper and GitHub Copilot. For JavaScript, we have the support for both. In TypeScript, you can see only that is supported by GitHub Copilot. And for Sam goes for the Ruby and Go. C has C++ and Java. Java is supported by only Amazon Code Whisper for now. So only in the case of Java, if you are the person who is only using Java right now. So there is no other option for you to uh, go to Amazon Code Whisper now only. Okay, so if you also talk about the code editor support like IDE. So if you're on VS Code, there you, you have the option to use both. If you're on the JetBrains, you're on, uh, you have the options to use both as well. If you're on the Visual Studio, then you only have the option to use GitHub Copilot. Same goes for Neomim as well. And if you are on the AWS integrated IDE, so obviously for that you can only use Amazon Code Whisper. And yeah, so that will be it for uh, today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you. Bye-bye.